guys, this is Nicole Williams. We're here with Daryl Brown, Senior Vice President of U.S. Bank. We're here to talk to him about his role at U.S. Bank and also how he serves the community. Right. Nicole, thank you. I'm, I'm so honored to be here. It's a pleasure, you know, to interact with you. And I'm a big longtime supporter of the Sindo and the, and the role they play in the community is phenomenal. Uh, Danny Bakewell, Pam Bakewell are dear friends of mine. And, and uh, more importantly, when I think about the community, uh, honestly, I think about the taste of soul. I mean, you get yeah. 300,000 people together, you know, that can unite a community. I mean, the families, old and young, and small business and corporations on the street called Crenshaw, where I grew up on, is very special to me. And one of the things I look back on my childhood, we were always out of the community. You know, my mother, March, would see the Chavez. She did the first six anemia telethon with Sammy Davis Jr. Mm -hmm. You know, we would go to the missions and serve. Or we would go to the homes of the sick, you know, uh, as a result of our outreach in our church, mm -hmm. you know, or we would uh, plant trees, you know, as part of our projects at our schools. So those things are part of uh, my foundation, it's part of my roots. And I try and breathe life into that and the role that I play today as a senior executive for, for a major bank. deal with kids in elementary <laughs> school, you have to have a lot of patience, yeah. right? And uh, as I lovingly call him Coach Daryl, uh, <laughs> Coach Daryl Coach had a lot of patience with me uh, because I knew <laughs> patience was very necessary. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, it, it's very important in business to understand teamwork, very important to understand leadership. And there is no better place to learn that as a child than with organized sports. Mm -hmm. So I got it from the beginning, from working, uh, playing in the Little League with Coach Darrell. He, he is my friend. He's the community's friend. He's our community supporter. He is that, um, as you heard, he, he knows how to lift the work up of Brotherhood Crusade. Well, this is my home. This building I've known, I can tell you when it was a bank. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I go back, you know, through the 60s. Mm -hmm. I watch this community. So this is the, this is the pillar for what I know will be the emergence of a new Crenshaw Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And that word brotherhood kind of unites, as I said earlier, we the people, the mm -hmm. U.S. Constitution. A uh, colloquialism for that is brotherhood. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's partnership. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's collaboration. It's unity. Mm -hmm. It's all of us. It, it is. All those things that you know speak to the same thing that we're trying to get to, and that's making a difference for our community, planting seeds for uh, those you know that are younger, you know, so we can bear fruit as we get a little bit older and feel comfortable in that, mm -hmm. knowing that the legacy is going to live long beyond my years, and that's because of the biggest luxury I've been having friends, but I have friends that have the same the same mind yeah, state good, that's good, not good. different from what I used to experience good, in my good. past. So this is, a, this is the future shaper for me. This is what's going to put me in the right direction. Yeah. And I think you too, for me to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. And because one day somebody's going to be in my chair. And um, I will tell you that at U.S. Bank, uh, I play a big role um, in our diversity and inclusion strategies. Um, I play a big role in our company government relations or the customer experience. And when I think about the commonality and interaction, it requires making a difference and creating a legacy of service. And, and for those that strive to grow beyond where we are, and, and I'm honored to be in a situation to do that, in opposition to, uh, in a, be in a position to tell my story as U.S. Bank, um, and also more importantly, the role that I play as one of the city executives. I can be more proud of that. Hey, Sentinel viewers, we are on Crenshaw Boulevard. We just wrapped up our day at Brotherhood Crusade Youth Source Center. We just spent the whole day with Senior Vice President of U.S. Bank, Daryl Brown. We got to see the community and what he loves about it. We visited a local eatery and we wrapped it up at a nonprofit. Hope you guys enjoy. Visit us at www.lacentinel.net. I'm Daryl Brown and I'm happy to say that I read the signal. Why? Because it's been the voice of the community for many, many years. My grandfather would be very proud.